Today we're going to talk about the Atelier Lusso Dragon Andromeda Fountain Pen with a Mark Backus Nib Grinder Predator Nib. This was gifted to me by a pen friend that wishes to remain anonymous and it's one hot pen. That siren you were hearing was actually in my apartment and it's our once a year disaster preparedness. And what she was saying at the beginning, kunlen, kunlen, that just means that it's a practice. We have these about once a year and in Japan they take disaster preparedness very seriously. When my daughter was little and in school here, we used to have to do drills where we would go and pick up our kid in case there was a natural disaster. And I had to fill out a detailed plan saying what I would do in the event of an earthquake. That was my cultural tidbit for the video. So back to the pen. Atelier Lusso has an Andromeda model of their pen and this one is the Dragon Andromeda. This material is made by Jeff Powell. It's his wyvern dragon and it's double cast. The dragon is carved out of the material and then filled in with a different color and then recast. On this particular pen, there is no clip, but the cap screws on flush to the barrel. And that is the first of two seals for the section to keep the ink dry. It is a sleek, uncluttered pen with a flat top and bottom. The finial has an end kind of coin that has the Atelier Lusso dragon on it. This one is made of sterling silver but his more current ones have better definition and made of steel and bronze. The opposite end of the pen is this plain flat cut. It looks pretty cool. The cap comes off in one and one half turns. Inside the cap, you can see there's that little ledge there toward the bottom. That's so that the section will butt up against it and make a second seal to keep the ink dry. The pen material is a solid black with a kind of glittery pearlescent gray, blue and orange swirls. The dragon itself is white with splotches of glittery parts that make it look a little bit like it's got scales on it. The pen comes with a custom rickshaw Atelier Lusso pen sleeve, which is standard with all their pens, along with the dragon logo finial coin, a number six Yovo nib, a Schmidt K5 cartridge converter, and a box. You can make a custom pen or buy from their current inventory at lusopens.com. And you can also get a variety of handmade clips made from things like either Damascus or hammered steel. This is a picture from their Instagram. It has a Yovo number no. six nib and then a fairly thin section compared to the rest of the body. Here are the threads in a fairly prominent step up to the barrel of the body. The threads are smooth and the section is long enough where the step up nor the threads bothered me in my grip. Here's my normal grip and you can see I'm not actually touching the threads or the step up the way you hold the pen. And this is what the pen looks like unposted and you can't post the pen. And even when I'm holding it unusually far back, it didn't bother me. A Mont Blanc 149 is definitely longer and maybe just a bit girthier. Both the Platinum 3776 and Plazer are both a little bit longer and a little bit thinner. Uncapped, the 149 is definitely still longer and the 3776 and Plazer are slightly shorter. Then you can see also that the section on the 149 is definitely girthier and shorter than the section here. So really, as I said before, this nice long section kind of takes care of holding the pen. It's slightly girthier than the Plasure and the 3776. 
The pen comes with a number six Yovo steel nib with the Atelier Lusso's dragon insignia on it, but I got it with a Mark Backus nib grinder predator hybrid nib. So let's talk a little bit about this nib and see how it performs. This is Jacob of Foodafan's awesome pick of the nib on Mark Backus's Instagram. Mark says he named this the Predator because of its downward pointing shape. Kind of looks like the beak on this guy. He says the Predator is his version of the Saibi Togi, which can write really, really fine. There are three versions, the Predator, the Predator Hybrid, and the Predator Extreme. The regular Predator has the most prominent beak and capable of producing some of the finest lines that he makes. The hybrid, which is what I have, is not as downward pointing. And both the regular and the hybrid, their reverse side produces a slightly broader line. The Predator Extreme, which is usually made from a broad nib, can be grounded to a very fine point and has an architect on the reverse side. The view from the top, and this is the view from one of the sides, and the view from the underside. As you can tell, this Predator Hybrid Grind is a subtle one. And that's what I really enjoyed about this nib. It wasn't flashy, didn't do weird stuff, but it made a subtle, distinct, really nice difference in my fine writing. You need to check out his website, Nib Grinder. It has a really good explanation on the different kinds of nib grinds that he does and for some reason that left foot oblique really hit home with me. I finally understand that nib grind. I think one of the reasons it made so much sense to me is that he has a page where it has some useful videos explaining certain aspects of nib grinds. And one of the ones that really connected with me is where he explains the angle, tilt, and rotation of how you hold your pen. It's just like pitch, yaw, and roll in flying a jet. And his Instagram account has some scary pictures of nib carnage. At first, I inked up the pen with Tassia's Fukai Haneda, but that's a little bit dry and the writing experience wasn't as nice. This nib is fairly fine and has a slight amount of pencil-like feedback, so you need to keep that in mind. And then I inked it up with Sailor's Sailor, which is a slightly more wet ink, and my pen just sang. It was just a really nice writing experience. Here I am writing with it normally, and you can see it's a fairly fine nib, and it writes smoothly, but like I said, just a hint of feedback, which keeps it a lot of fun. Mark considers the Predator to be an advanced grind, but I think all you need to do is keep in mind to use a normal to wettish kind of ink and don't write really big letters. Fine nibs are not made to write giant letters. And I think you'll really enjoy that very subtle feedback. It's not a drag or anything, it's just a very slight vibration. Here I am writing on the reverse side and you can see it's slightly broader than the normal side and it's the very smooth writing experience on that side. Lisa, Mark's assistant, says the Predator is popular with people who draw or need a lot of precision in their writing and I can understand that. Mark's most popular grind is the Cursive Smooth Italic, the CSI. However, the Architect and Hybrid Grind is increasing in popularity. But Lisa says she thinks everybody should get an Architect Grind. She likes it so much. I'm really glad that this grind is on a Yovo number no. 6 as I have many pens that will take a Yovo number no. 6 and I'll be able to switch it out. So it looks like an Atelier Lusso Dragon Andromeda and a Bacchus Predator Hybrid Nib makes for a pretty hot pen. And thanks to my pen friend for the really fun writing experience.